y'all it is getting hot in Phoenix <clears throat> excuse me um, it's 89 degrees right now just got out of the nail shop and I sent a message my, my head starting to tick me off a little bit I'm like can you go pick up JB he's like what why where are you and it took me a while to respond to him because hold on y'all I'm like I'm at the nail shop you know so I didn't say anything right away I'm like I'm getting my nails done can you go pick them up he didn't respond so I finally called him and he's like why didn't you tell me this before you left? I'm like, you know what? I'm telling you this now. Go. I said, you know what? Don't, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Communication. So y'all, I um. So I text messaged my girlfriend D, and I was like, she's the one again. She's hosting the event, Natural Hair Group, and I'm like, hey, where are you at? I can stop by because she literally works right around the corner. I'm like, I can stop by and pick up the bottles because she bought me some. Um, 0.5 inch, 0.5 inch, 0.5 ounce jars for the samples for the hair expo, and they're very cute, you guys. So this is what she gave me. I think there's about 29 of these, and then it has droplets. It comes with a droplet. So I'm gonna fill almost all of these up. So anyway, I got one more place to stop. I'm going because my my battery's running low, so I need to make this hair. I got one more place to stop. I need to stop at Staples. I told my husband, I said, so since you since he didn't pick up JB by 11.30, that was the four hour cutoff. He didn't pick him up by 11.30, JB's gonna have to stay there then. He's, it's, now it's 12. At this point, it's going into a full day. And I'm like, yeah, he's gonna have to stay there. I'm like, that kinda took me off. So I said, you know, at this point, he's gonna stay there. I was gonna cut my running errands short, but now I'm just gonna go ahead and run a bunch of errands, and I'm not gonna go home and have your lunch ready in time. And this is my cute little spring dress and I'm just wearing these tuxedo flats now if I was really going somewhere I am going somewhere uh, I would wear heels I have a pair of green heels or even red heels pop of color this is my simple yet elegant makeup and hairdo so let me go ahead y'all <laughs> Okay, it says 72 minutes. I have to say, because this has been on the charger all this time. Let me close the door. I think my man. Um, what hair noise? Girl, it's the plastic bag. Um, I'm going to eat my cookie. And then I'm going to put these oils together. Wash my hands and I'm going to put these oils together. Mmm, 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 mmm. Well, look, you guys. I saw one of um, a local Phoenix vlogger post it last night. I was so excited. Miss Delight. Hey girl. She said she watches my videos. I was excited to see that. I used to really watch her videos. I'll link her video, her um, channel below. Um, she does story time. Sometimes her sister would come on, Kim with her. I really like her because she country. <laughs> Number one. Number two, no nonsense, straight to the point, very humble. 
woman. I used to um, listen to her channel. I have to listen to stuff, y'all, to fall asleep. So I used to listen to her channel for a while to fall asleep. Um, but y'all, what else is going on? Did y'all see my baby? He was so sweet. He had a fit when I left, though, screaming and crying and foaming at the mouth. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, child, you know I had to go. You a full day today. Um, they were so cute. So, so, so cute. So, yeah, what they'll do is he graduated from pre-K. I'm like, I didn't even know they had a graduation for that, but it's so sweet. And um, then he's just going to move up to another room. He's not going to go to kindergarten there because it's too expensive. I don't know how much it is, but I remember when they told me and I blacked out. So, we ain't going to be doing pre-K there. Nope. Um, what else is going on, y'all? Nothing, really. I did a, um, like a... <clears throat> What else is going on? Um, tomorrow we will go out to eat. Look, I didn't realize that my husband was off yesterday. So I was like, okay, cool, you're off, then we'll just go out to eat today. He was like, um, so are you going to pay for today? You guys, we, we split some things. Now, I'm gonna pay mortgage. The hell with that. But when we go out, we switch. He'll pay for one and I'll pay. And then the other person will take care of the daycare fees. And for the longest, I was like, I don't have any money. <laughs> but I don't mind treating, um, because it's, it's time for us. So I don't mind investing into us, if that makes sense. Okay, I'm going to put on my gloves. Latex-free gloves. Um... Oh, actually, let me go ahead and stuff my bags first. <clears throat> so, YouTube beef. You guys, I am subscribed to a lot of different people, and I do a lot of lurking. I'm one of those type of YouTubers, and I think I have a lot of people who are subscribed to me who are like this. Because every now, every now and then when I have a giveaway, I'm like, who the hell are you? When they're like, you me. I'm like, I've never seen you before in my life. But, um, I don't comment a lot. I'll... I'll be subscribed to someone for years and never comment on their channel because I don't know. I always give people a thumbs up, but I rarely comment. Get to the point, girl. What the hell was that? I. Are you okay? What was that? What was that noise? Oh, the cabinet. That was loud. I'm paranoid. I didn't know if he had left or what. What the hell that noise was. Anyway. So, get to the point, girl. So, now there's there's YouTube beef now going on between the um, gossip vloggers. <sighs> and it's between, <laughs> damn near, five or six people. But they all have a common denominator. denominator Justin. Y'all... Those of you who don't know, Justin J, who calls himself the King of Reeds. I have a hate-love relationship about Justin. I think that Justin allowed things to get to him. And I think that Justin really needs to learn how to humble himself. I unsubscribed to him when, um, about, I'm back to subscribe to him. But I had unsubscribed to him for a while because I just felt like he was so negative and that energy can be damn near drowning if you try not to be that type of person so I found him to be too negative and <clears throat> he didn't see that in my opinion he wasn't seeing that his attitude and approach towards towards certain circumstances was due to his own he had a he had some fault in that and I felt like he wasn't owning up to it so I was subscribed to him for a while now I was still looking at some of his videos but I was unsub to him. I subbed back when he started reviewing Real Housewives. Look, I'm washing my hands off again. When he started reviewing Real Housewives of Atlanta this past season. I, I subbed back again. So, get to the point, girl. About a week ago, I saw a video from Timothy. And Timothy is this old dirt queen. <laughs> Y'all, I love Timothy. Timothy is this um, Dan from Atlanta. And I like him. Um... So he had a video titled, Who's the King of Reeds? And I was like, oh shit, hold on y'all. What the hell did I just do? 
Hold on y'all, I'm talking, I think I'm putting the same card. Timothy had this video titled, Who's the King of Reads? And I'll link his channel below. I won't link that video, but you'll see it here. Um, and I was like, that's easy. The King of Reads is Alex. No child. <clears throat> Justin has supposedly claimed that title. So, okay, whatever you want. So I guess one of them has a website called The King of Reads. And the other one is um, King of Reads. So I'm like, oh, you got to be very careful. You got to be real careful when you start doing that, okay? So, then two nights ago, I saw that Alex had posted a video basically going in on Justin. And then that linked me to <clears throat> James Caldwell, who did a freaking intelligent I wouldn't even call it a read. That was an uplift. <laughs> and then Sean Bradley. And then Messy Mouse. I'm like, what the hell is going on? So supposedly, I guess Justin had ran it on Periscope. Went in on Periscope. Um, and that's when they decided to, you know, make these response videos. So here's my thing, you guys. Like I said, I think that Justin can come off as not being humbled and um, I just feel like he brings a lot of negativity towards himself. But then on the same hand, it's almost like I think there's a way to read someone, check someone and let and that be it. And then there's this going overboard. There are certain people who deserve it like, oh, Lord, girl, what is what is her name? She is psychotic. BBW, the one that only shows her damn face. I think there's something mentally wrong. I think there are a lot of people who have mental issues. A lot of YouTubers who have mental issues. But she is definitely one of them. BBW, Sweet B. Y'all know who I'm talking about. She be up in the camera like this. All you can see is face and hair. Understand. And I understand to a certain point with Justin. And I get it, you know, some people may say, well, you know, he had it coming. He should never been, you know, talking shit, you know. But then it gets to a point, okay, once you've done one video, you've made your point. You've done one video, you made your point. Unless, I didn't see that Justin has responded. Unless he's responding in the background, you know, towards your response video. What's the need to do multiple videos over the same thing? And we all grown. We're all 30 plus years old. I think we all are. So, you know, I was like, okay, this is enough. And I think that um, Alex has done another video. And I love Alex. He's done another video. I'm like, oh my God, child. I got to go do the dishes. <laughs> Look, y'all, I'm laughing. I'm watching the truth show. Hold on. Let me put these labels on here real quick. Lavender. Uh... Lang Lang and Rosemary. I'm watching the truth store, the truth show. This is the young brother. He's not young, but this is the brother. I like him. Um, and so have y'all seen the video of um, Matt and Peter fighting? What the hell is wrong with Matt? Matt is crazy. He is crazy. But look, Peter. <laughs> Peter ain't no joke. Y'all, I think Peter is fine. I mean, all jokes aside, when he dresses up in his nice suit, and I like chocolate men, even though my man's light skin as hell. Um, I like chocolate men. I think pretty I think Peter is a good looking guy. I don't know why Cynthia didn't find him. Let me let me back up. I see where you can find someone you could think someone is fine but not be attracted to them. I'm not attracted to Peter, but I think he's fine. Anyway, does that make sense? Who cares, girl? So anyway, um, I guess they were doing a um, they were doing an interview, and Matt, of course, boss up, looking at him. He is not fine at all. He, Matt looks awkward looking. Looks like he hasn't finished growing yet. Like, well, he's finished growing. Clearly, he's big, but his body parts don't match. Pushed up and got up off his chair. Matt wasn't ready for that. Put Peter put him in a headlock, y'all. And if it wasn't for that lady coming over and tapping them on the shoulder, I think he was ready. Did y'all see that he had the um what is that? Um a razor? Peter had a razor. Lord, y'all, I was like, blood clot. <laughs> Peter is not about that life, child. He was about to cut Matt. I mean, he literally had him in a headlock and he had the the 
box cutter like this ready to um ready to cut him you can't be playing you can't be pushing up with someone thinking that you know you got the upper hand just because you young he's about to get his ass handed to him so you look you guys i think that this yeah, this is a different type of, um, I like this. I guess I'll order a different type of labels that are more water -proof. I like to turn my bottles sideways and then roll on the label because it makes it easier to keep it straight. I probably shouldn't be drinking doing this. <laughs> They're like, why are you drinking at midday? Because I can. My girlfriend never got back with me, so I'm just going to keep bottling up stuff. And there we go. There we have it. One down. 15 more to go. <laughs>